Well, Covenant Children's and the South Plains Coalition for Child Abuse Prevention are partnering up to host an educational summit, and Belinda Waters joins me today to share some of those details about the event. Belinda, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having Appreciate us. Appreciate it. This is such an important cause and such an important mission. I'm glad you guys are doing it, but kind of tell us what we can expect if um, someone is attending. So we have, uh, um, this will be our seventh annual conference that we're putting on, mm -hmm. again, between Covenant Children's and then also the Child Abuse Coalition. Um, <clears throat> we have, we're actually doing two days. This is our second year we've done two days. The first day is geared more towards um, medical, like EMS, fire, um, also law enforcement, okay. CPS. And so what, the, what we're actually doing is interesting. We're starting out with the first part of a case, how to recognize it, and we're gonna go all the way through um, per, uh, prosecution of the okay. perpetrator. So Sunshine, Sunshine Stanick, our, mm -hmm. Sunshine Stanick, our mm -hmm. DA will be there um, to help present, present it too. And the second day is geared a little bit more, more towards child care givers, okay. teachers, all of those kind of things, people that work in child care. Sure. Um, so again, to our big thing is we want people to recognize it. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Our hope is as we go on, we'll be able to actually start preventing it. That's the only way we can make a really big difference is once we get into prevention. Exactly. We've got to talk about it. I mean, we've even had cases here locally where there's, you know, that question of whether or not it's child abuse or not. And I'm glad that we're having that conversation to help educate, especially yes. caregivers and, you you know, how to really help bring our kids forward and, and take care of them, nurture them. So I'm glad you guys are having this. Um, what can they do to kind of prepare themselves before they attend the event? Anything they should be thinking about? Uh, not really. They'll be registering uh, ahead of time. It's ahead of time. It's, it's an online registration. Okay. And then um, just the preparation for where we're going, knowing the location to, to come to. Um, we've had some people that have, are a little bit surprised by some of the photos that are shown. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to sh see a child that's sure. been abused. Um, so they probably have, they may need to prepare a little bit for that mentally. I do know uh, on a couple of our presentations, there are some pictures that may be a little bit hard if you haven't seen that before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, we talked about the theme earlier. What's the theme this year? The theme this year is Shatter the Silence. Uh, we speak up to stop child abuse. So what our goal is, is this whole region, we want to be able to speak up, not hide child abuse. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's such a not nice topic. Right. And uh, then people are afraid to, to have someone look into them. Mm -hmm. You know, I always say that I have actually had grandparents that completely refuse to, to believe that anything's been done like by a child or anything and I said I have my son and daughter-in-law I promise you if mm -hmm. I thought my grandchildren were being abused mm -hmm. I would definitely speak up and say something so we want everyone to be able to recognize what are the symptoms and then speak up very good very important thanks so much for sharing this with us I appreciate it thank you and we're going to give you a child oh, stop child nice. abuse bracelet thank you we give out about a thousand of those a year I love so it. we wanted to bring one for you I love it very important cause thanks thank you and coming up after the break, an evening of dinner and great conversation with published authors. That's coming up.